my encouragement to you today, whether it's you know something in your cart or your club or the ball itself, a flag stick, find something that's gonna remind you of Christ out there today. So this day would not be a uh, unholy sacrifice. May it be a time of worship where we can truly understand God more and bear good fruit. I think the marathon has, has been very important for the advancement of the gospel, at least here in this area, because it has put people in place that, and, and enabled us to do things that we wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. Again, the FCA runs on two things. It runs on donors and it runs on volunteers. And so the marathon has contributed to that. Raising money for our huddle. It's a great, great fundraiser, a great chance to uh, raise some money for our, for our huddle and uh, so we can save some money to send the kids to camp if they want to go, send them to Weekend of Cham Champions, do other, do other uh, uh, FCA events. Well, just uh, help my buddy Chris Harms and his, uh, I know he's a huddle leader out there and just uh, trying to give him some support. FCA. All of the young men and women that work across the state of Nebraska, reaching kids with huddles, talking about things that are important, things that are eternal, rather than just what video game or what next purchase they make. Well, why haven't you been in one of these things before? You like to play golf? You believe in FCA? You believe that kids need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, there are just a few areas, a few ways that you can get into a school now and combat the things that they're faced with daily. FCA is one of them. I really would love future golfers to understand that they can contend for the gospel in raising money and golfing in this event. It seems like just sacrificing a day and making some calls, but there are athletes and coaches that are being challenged with the gospel on behalf of their, their involvement in this event.